Kaohsiung Mayor Han Guoyu has reacted to the arms sale with a statement thanking the Trump administration for approving the deal. The press release sparked a rush of criticism online from users who said he was, quote, shamelessly taking credit for the Thai administration's achievements. Meanwhile, a DPP lawmaker criticized the KMT for flip-flopping on its stance on arms deals. Hun's campaign office posted a press release today thanking U.S. President Donald Trump for approving a sale of F-16s to Taiwan. In the statement, Hun emphasized that if elected president, he would deepen U.S.-Taiwan security and military relationships and make Taiwan a robust peace defender. The statement drew a backlash from DPP lawmakers. Han Guoyu's attitude toward arms sales or the KMT's attitude toward arms sales frequently flip-flops. While Ma ying was party chairman, they blocked a proposal to buy submarines. Over the past three years, whether it's over indigenous weaponry or U.S. arms sales, we've seen the KMT boycott proposals again and again in the legislative yuan. Taiwan, Taiwan needs appropriate defense capabilities, but we are against spendthrift arms purchases. As president, Ma had made many unsuccessful appeals to purchase F-16s from the U.S. Last week, Washington at last agreed to sell 66 new F-16s to the Thai administration. Following Han's statement of thanks to Trump, Internet users have blasted the mayor for a, quote, shameless bid to take credit for Thai's work. Meanwhile, in the U.S., the KMT's Eric Chu seconded the president's statement of support for Hong Kong's protesters. Chu said that support for Hong Kong's protesters should be the KMT's official stance. The KMT has no direction at all anymore. It seems that the party is at a loss on what to think of Hong Kong. So Eric Chu should be careful in the U.S. lest he be expelled from the party. As the countdown continues to Election Day, many expect more flip-flops and surprises to emerge from the KMT.